Um, now, you and I both know, because we've talked about it before, that this king is very sensitive to uh, the appearance of indulgence uh, and waste. But folk mm. I'm reading want and expect the full Monty when it comes to the first coronation in decades and decades and decades. What's your take? Good afternoon, Alistair. Thank you for having me back on. You're absolutely right. People want a coronation similar to the, the coronation that his mother had. But the, the reality is it's, it's a different time. Uh, things are very different. Obviously, money is something that the king is very aware. I mean, we've seen recently, even this week, that money is something that he's very aware that um, there's not... It's, it can't just be seen just to be spending it uh, the way they would have done maybe 60, 70, 80 years ago. And I think a scaled-down coronation is, is without question what he will want. But I think what people got to understand is he's not going to cut the... There's obviously parts of coronation that will still take place. There's the enthronement, there's the, the anointing, there's the crowning. All these parts will continue. The, 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 the scaling down part is most likely it's just to do with fewer people. So instead of 10,000, you're talking about 2,000. So it's those kind of things. It's just being a bit more uh, sensible yeah. when it comes to not overspending in those kind of areas. I think he's already bought into that clearly, but you, 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 you changed tack there to exactly where I wanted to go um, in, in the sense that elements of it, like the, the crown clearly, the orb, the sceptre, uh, they are part of not just tradition, but they're also part of the symbolism of it and, and the religious dimension of it. How much of the attire is also tradition uh, and that which must be done because it's a coronation? With the attire, once again, I asked, you know, it's something that each monarch has obviously it's designed, it's obviously the fittings. It's difficult to say what, what King Charles III will choose. Uh, obviously, his mother, um, we all remember that iconic dress that she wore. And I read somewhere she actually used it a few other times after, which was quite interesting because, again, that coronation was not that long after the war, you know. So, obviously, again, with money, they had to be very, they had to be careful. I think with with the king, he's going to be kind of bearing that in mind, and I'm sure he'll pick some pick, pick something that's that's fitting, that's traditional, but yet uh, modern. But see, the other hidden cost that people might not realise is that Saint Edward's crown, as you you are well, has already been removed from the Tower of London. It's been resized because each monarch. Obviously, we're all humans, we're all different shapes and sizes. It's got to be resized for the for the king. And it'll be the same with the Imperial State Crown. And that's where these hidden costs come into it. So I think it's not just what we all see. There's a lot that's going on behind the scenes that we'll be unaware of where they've got to put that into when they're working at the costs. They've got to be aware that these are things that will cost huge amounts of money as well.